Hi everyone, welcome to this month's Stamping for Scrapbookers. This month's stamp theme is a winter, so I'm gonna use those beautiful trees from Katherine Puller. I'm gonna use the snowflakes. I'm going to use my paper person stamp, uh, some white cardstock, and then I have a little, some other bits and pieces from my paper person kit for November. Four inks, colors, Juniper Mist, Daydream, Skylight, and Hot Dub. And then I have those two three by four cards and my letter stickers. So let's get started stamping. Starting with the white cardstock, I'm cutting it down to four by eight. I'm gonna be working with a traveler's size notebook page. And I'm going to uh, grab my ginormous Misty. I'm going to take some washi tape and washi tape my stamps to get my sheets of paper together. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to do a whole bunch of stamping. So I am using washi tape to hold my pages together simply so that I can stamp um, almost like a scene across both pages. And um, then I can remove them and tape them into either side of my traveler's notebook spread. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna be using um, this tree stamp first. I'm going to stamp a row of trees all the way across the bottom of both pages with Katherine Puller Juniper ink. Stamping with Scrapbookers is one of the series that will be leaving my channel. So this will be the last one. And I don't think anyone's picking it up or, or doing it after, after the end of the year. So, um, but if you're around here very often, you know that I stamp on almost everything that I create. So it's not a huge deal if I end up leaving this particular series because you all know I will still be stamping on tons of layouts on my channel. I'm going to uh, stamp this Mist, Juniper Mist stamp twice, this tree stamp with the Juniper Mist ink. I'm going to stamp it twice all across the bottom. And then I'm going to use my acrylic blocks to add the little inside detail on each of the trees. So the initial ink, the initial tree is stamped with juniper ink, and then I'm going to alternate between daydream, skylight, and hot tub. And these, especially skylight and hot tub, they look really dark and really similar until they dry because these, both these dry back pretty good. Now I'm taking all of the snowy snowflake stamps from this Catherine Puller set and I'm going to stamp across the top of my pages uh, snowflakes. I'm going to start with the Juniper Mist again all the way across the top. I use my stamps like die cuts so um, I just pick them up, place them where I want them on my paper and stamp them. And the wonderful thing about the Misty is that I can go ahead and stamp like all four of these snowflake stamps and they will be totally fine. Once I have my Juniper Mist stamps stamped across, I'm going to switch colors to Daydream. We're gonna create kind of like an ombre of snowflakes kind of falling down. We're not gonna, it's not gonna hit the trees perfect like exactly because I'm going to add another stamp above the trees but it's going to be close and like there I had a, a obviously like open gap and so I just used my acrylic block. I use my acrylic blocks and my misties and my misty. I feel that they are interchangeable and they both serve a purpose. So if you don't have a misty um, and you get one and you think, oh, I can throw my acrylic blocks away. Don't throw your acrylic blocks away. <laughs> because I find that I use them both. And the pads underneath the Misty allow me to be able to um, stamp really, really nicely with my acrylic blocks. Better than if you're going on a hard surface. So just my, my thoughts. Um, you don't, I, I use both. So I did a row of snowflakes in Daydream. Now I'm doing a row of snowflakes in the Skylight color. These are all Catherine Puller inks. 
Um, I have discovered Catherine Polar inks and I have never looked back from them. Um, many of you know that I used to use the Altenew, the mini cubes, which I still have. And they are great for going places like going to crops and, and those kinds of things. But um, at home, when I'm crafting at home, I have really fallen in love with these Catherine Pooler colors and the ink is lovely. And the ink pads are lovely too. And so I have just been slowly but surely collecting. Every time I place my design team order for a cherry on top, I always grab one or two new ink colors. So now I have the hot tub. I'm putting the hot tub across last. So we have this little like ombre pattern going, right? Where we've got the juniper mist and then we've got the, the daydream and then we have the skylight and then we're gonna finish up with our hot tub. This page is gonna document our first snow for 2020, which was on December 1st. So it was a Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the Tuesday from the paper person a stamp set and then on the inside of that stamp set in that little spot there I'm going to go ahead and stamp December because it was December 1st. I'm going to continue on here uh, and I stamped that in I think it's the hot tub ink. I wish I had oh I do have it I have it right here let me look quick. I was wrong. It's not the hot tub ink, that's the daydream ink. So next up, I cut a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square of this really lovely navy blue cardstock from um, the cardstock warehouse. And I'm just gonna trim my photo down. My photo is actually going to have a white board, has a white border on it, and then I'm gonna give it a second border of this beautiful deep, deep navy color. So the main part of this spread is going to be the background I've already created. So I don't want to cover up too much of it. I'm going to take a look at how this is going to sit in my notebook. I am using a notebook from Rock Your Notebook. I will leave a link down below to Beth's shop. Beth is a very good friend of mine. I use her notebooks almost exclusively. They are stunning. So the notebook I'm using just has uh, white cardstock inside of it so it's a heavier um, paper which is perfect because then I can use the thinner paper on the inside of my pages and with my stamping. Her notebooks are also stitched which means they're not stapled and they um, will stay together. I fit so many things in Beth's notebooks because they allow you to make them super chunky if you like. And they are stitched with this lovely, like really good thick thread. They're beautiful. So I will leave a link to her shop down below. You can see here, I got my, my picture photo in and then I did have to trim it off a little bit because I wanted it the way it was sitting in my notebook. I wanted it to kind of look almost like it was hanging off the edge of the page. And to get that look, I had to kind of push it up a little bit to the one side, but that's okay. Uh, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other stamped piece down and I cut that three by four card. So the cards that I'm gonna use now, the two three by four cards are from um, the paper, my paper person kit for November. I just, I left this on my desk, my, pa my uh, November paper person kit. Um, on Tuesday when I did my paper person video I just left it on my desk and then I was like oh this will work for my Laura Weta Girl sketches video and I was like oh this will work for my traveler's notebook video and then I was like oh this will work for my members only video so I did a members only video using this collection for my members um, and then I still have a little bit of it left and I'm actually considering just leaving it on my desk and working with it until I don't have any of it left. So you might see it again. Um, tomorrow is January 1st. Yay! And you will find I have three videos coming to my channel tomorrow. So enjoy that. None of them are process of videos. <laughs> We're starting how to kill a kit with style. I have an unboxing um, of my scrapbookingstore.com kit for January. And then one of the lovely subscribers here requested 
a video showing all the kits and collections I will be using in January. So check those videos out and um, let me know what you think of them if you'd like me to keep doing. I'm definitely doing How to Kill a Kit with Style, but um, also in January, we are hosting a spending freeze in the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group. I will leave the Facebook group link down below as well. And um, there will be challenges and fun and we're some of us aren't spending anything some of us are spending a little bit some it's just it's really fun it's really fun it's a great way to use up your stash and because we're hosting a spending freeze in january um i'm going to try to include a couple of rediscover your stash videos into my channel in january because i have a much lighter video load <laughs> Um, which was kind of my plan. That's been my plan. My plan has been to kind of end some of my series and give myself a little bit of breathing room so that I can do things like add a video or two during the Rediscover Your Stash spending freeze in June and in January and um, just be able to play a little more, just to be able to play a little more with um, in my Facebook group, in um, How to Kill a Kit with Style. Uh, I started that series and I adore that series, but, um, I kind of haven't had time, the time that I want to be able to kind of pull the, my kits together and then pull my kit and then actually kill it onto a video, things like that. So there'll be lots of fun, fun stuff coming. I went ahead and fussy cut these little labels from that uh, bit of paper you saw there. And I'm going to add to it my title. So my title is Winter is Coming. Nope, it's here. Lastly, I'm just going to add um, a snowflake to that label because it, uh, there was like an open spot on the label. Lovely headshot. See, real persons crafting at a table, in case you ever wondered. I'm going to add my date stamp and that will be this spread all done. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed this series and I hope you enjoyed this spread. I think it turned out so pretty. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.